What's up Kai Soto fans? This is the real Kai Soto fan channel, KSF. This is about all positive opinions, rumors, news about Kai Soto. Breaking news. The 2022 NBA draft ended and came to the conclusion that Kai Soto remains undrafted unfortunately. It is definitely a result of collective effort to make Kai's profile low as possible by not utilizing him properly in Adelaide 36ers to begin with. And the media was definitely not pushing him as well. Regardless, it's not the end of the world. His NBA journey is still very much alive as he is just 20 years old young man that was able to held his own, no doubt. So Kai, if you're watching, we love you and support you all the way no matter what. You know, you are never motivated as ever to get to the league and that alone, we are so proud of you. You still inspire us and we will keep on doing it because you have a kind heart and because you simply care for your people and fans all over the world. We thank you. And you should be proud of yourself because at your age, you have done so much for the Philippines and fans. This is not the end guys. There's nothing wrong with being undrafted. As what Kai's agent have said, it opens up to more doors, to more possibilities with being a free agent. By not being drafted in a year when Kai is going to be stronger and obviously more marketable NBA teams, and he got a lot of people intrigued this year. We can talk to all 30 teams. He's an unrestricted free agent. It's much better to be able to talk to 30 teams than to be locked into one team. I think anybody can see that. You know, there's a general feeling on draft night. Oh, you, you got to have your name called. Well, that's true if you're going to be in the top 10 for sure. Okay. But to be locked into a team and have them have your rights and they don't want you now and they may not ever want you is generally a pretty horrible idea. And Kai and his team made a uh, very sophisticated, intelligent decision and uh, said, no, we don't want to do the draft and stash. And, you know, teams will ask you before they do that because they need you to cooperate. Uh, and that's what we told them. So we had a couple opportunities for that. We, we had a couple opportunities that I knew of during the season in Australia where teams said, you know, hey, we'll draft them, uh, you know, if you guys will do that. I told them, well, I'll get back to them. We didn't have to make any decisions in February or March. But that's kind of how it went. But Kai had a good draft process. He showed a lot of things to teams, and uh, he's going to be heavily on the radar uh, for these teams in this coming year. Kai's agent, Joel Bell, also reiterated that they don't want the draft and stash deal wherein the selected player will have to play overseas until they are ready to come over to the NBA. Now, for Kai's situation, Agreeing with draft and stash deal means continuing his contract with Adelaide 36ers for one more season and at the same time, he is already committed to an NBA team without having the luxury to talk and negotiate to other teams, be it if it is with NBA or other leagues. So it's clearly much better to be not committed to any team so I think his agent and Kai's team did a great job and coming up with that plan. Now, here's something why we should continue loving Kai. Because you will hear from Kai's agent himself how great of a person Kai is through being selfless in representing the Philippines. And him respecting Kai's decision to play for his nation is clearly something that we should be proud of, definitely. Yeah, he already actually, I've already gotten several summer league invites for him but kai's decided to play with the filipino national team um that's his commitment and uh you know he's very dedicated toward uh filipino uh 
things, Filipino pride, Filipino activities. So he's going to pass up summer league and play with the Filipino national team. And it'd be nice, uh, let me just say this here, it'd be nice if the people of the Philippines respected him for that. I mean, I see so much garbage, and it's not true. Uh, it'd be nice if someone said, hey, here's a guy who's stepping up for his country. So maybe we ought to applaud him for that. Now, Kai's agent Joel Bell said that they won't do the two-way contracts, G League, Exhibit 10 contracts, I so much like Kai's agent Joel Bell on being so protected to Kai Soto's interest. I so totally agree with him turning down those for me, a non-guarantee contracts with NBA because it will only definitely hurt Kai's plan in getting into the NBA long term. The route for playing with other better leagues like Euro leagues are very much alive and definitely much more rewarding for Kai Soto. Pretty much, the contracts are more of a risk than an opportunity. Besides, Euro leagues appears to be more apolitical and more repeatable than NBL after Kai's experience there. For more information about those type of contracts, check out the links below. Sure. We're not going to do two-way contracts. We're not going to do G League, Exhibit 10 contracts, any of that. Kai is going to at this point, and, you know, we always talk and, you know, this could change, but at this point, the plan is for him to go to a non-North American team. He could go back to Australia. There's some other teams in Europe that are interested. Uh, he, he's going to develop uh, wherever he goes. He's going to have a personal agility coach, a personal strength coach, because those are things that um, he's going to really work hard to improve upon with the rest of his game. And I think that, uh, you know, in the following season, he'll be in the NBA. Why, why go down that route um, instead of taking on these special contracts in the NBA? I, I didn't hear the question. You broke up. Could you repeat that, oh, please? Right. Why go down that route of going to North America or to Australia instead of taking on the special contracts, uh, which, uh, of course, we know several known players to be going, that, going down that lane. Sure. With a two-way contract, you're not going to play very much. He needs to play. You're just not going to play very much unless there's a bunch of injuries or something unusual happens. You're the 16th or 17th guy on a team, and you just don't play that much. So he needs to play. Uh, so that's a reason right there that he wouldn't do that. But the most important thing is whatever decision that Kai's camp came up with, we are here to support. We love Kai, and we know that what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. We are proud of our warrior and we'll always be here supporting no matter what. Kai is strong. Kai's journey on becoming an NBA player and soon an all-star still continues. Thank you so much for the love and support to our channel. We will continue along with Kai's journey. That's a promise. If you do have questions, reactions, just leave a comment down below. If you love our video, click the like button. Subscribe and notification bell for more updates. Peace out.